In this video I'll explain how to use FlexTime. FlexTime allows you to edit the timing of notes, beats and other events in audio regions. Let's listen to our first example. You can hear that the very first snare drum hit is a bit delayed. To fix it you could slice the audio and move it manually. But with flex time, you can compress or expand the time events in audio region without the need for trimming, moving or crossfading. As soon as you activate flex mode, any detected transients are marked in the audio region. Now we can add flex markers. Place the pointer in the lower half of the waveform, then click. Three flex markers are added. This way the part you want to move will be isolated and won't affect the rest of the audio. If I move the last marker, the following audio will be compressed. Click the cross above the marker to remove it. Or click the pointer in the upper half of the waveform to add a single marker. Now I can place the snare hit where it belongs. Let's listen to it. When you activate flex mode, Logic selects the appropriate algorithm for the audio you are editing. You can try using other algorithms and see what works best. Rhythmic time stretches the material, looping audio between slices in order to fill any gaps. Slicing cuts the audio material at transient markers. No time compression is applied. Slicing is a good choice for drums. Let's move to our second example. You can hear that the piano chords don't match the drum pattern. Let's open the editor and activate flex mode. Slicing won't be effective here. We can try other algorithm. Polyphonic time uses phase information to stretch audio without touching its pitch. It delivers high sonic quality with suitable polyphonic materials such as chords or complex mixes. Speed time effects stretches audio by playing it faster or slower, including pitch change. It can be used for interesting creative effects. Now let's move to our final part, a vocal sample that we'll try to use together with drums and the chords. As you can probably hear, even though the voice is in the same scale, it is in a different tempo, and it will be hard to match it just by stretching the whole sample. In this case I would like to use just a few lines, and try to match it to the rest of the project. Hold Option key and drag lower region corner to stretch it. Now I can open editor and start using flex time. Monophonic time is designed to be used on melodic instruments only playing a single note at a time. It's good for vocals and solo instruments. When you use this flex algorithm, your recording should be dry. Otherwise you might want to try using polyphonic. Now I can place a few markers and align those words with the grid. With some experimentation you can fine tune each phrase or note and its timing. Or you could emphasize some parts by extending it to create push and pull effect. Flex time is a powerful tool, so take full advantage of it. 